If you need Madden 21 coins for anything, make sure to go to buymuttcoins.com. It's cheap and reliable, and my code MMG is 20% off. By the way, gentlemen, insane news. As you're watching this video, there's about to be a video on YouTube of me and the absolute goat, Trace McSorley. Yeah, Trace McSorley, playing Madden. When did you first hear about this TikTok song? Trace McSorley. One morning, I woke up, and someone had, like, put it on like their Snapchat story, like one of my friends from high school. <laughs> Just that whole next day, my phone was blowing up with it. It's so dope. Me and NRG, if you guys know them, big esports company, are teaming up to do a show where I play NFL athletes or NBA athletes, whatever, in the game that they're featured in. It's called Play Yourself. I've been waiting so long to tell you guys about this. I'm so excited. I'll put a thumbnail of the video on the screen right now so you guys can easily find it. Also, description, you'll be able to find it. You can type in MMG Plays Trace Mixer. So check out their channel. We're just getting started. It's super dope. More banger content. I'm pumped. Ladies and gentlemen! Hey, what do you think, boys? What do we think? Look, I know it's makeshift. I know it's not the world's greatest, but I had to keep the Christmas vibe, and I think it looks pretty good. This, this is white Santa. He is filling in while black Santa is still in California. He's a good guy. He just doesn't have the same vibe as black Santa, and I kind of wish I had brought black Santa across. Dude, imagine me getting searched at the airport, and they're like, yo, I have a black Santa. What am I talking about? I haven't even filled you guys in on anything. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I know you guys recognize this studio. This is where I recorded like the last four months of Madden 20. Connor's living here right now. I'll see if I can get Connor. Connor's here and Bailey's here too. Bailey actually set up this entire studio. I was like, Bailey, I still gotta make videos when I get back. Can you make a studio for me in my house? Come say hi. What's up? Look at this camera, isn't that fire is fun. I'll let you take it. Hey, so you wanna play some Madden 21? Of course. <laughs> I asked Connor to name three NFL players and he said Aaron Peterson. Aaron Rodgers and Adrian Peterson just mashed him into one player. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to be back. Um, fuck LA. What a horrible decision that was. You guys remember the Papa Bear mug, right? Well, we're on to a new goddamn era. This, what is his name? We need a name for this man. He the, has the fattest balls of any panda I've ever seen because he's got two hands just clutching them at all times so they don't fall out. Massive, bro. He needs a name, so let us know. We got some exciting shit in Wheel of Mutt today. Also, you will be seeing a lot more Connor and Bailey over the course of the next... I looked over here like my calendar's there. My calendar's not there. I'm in a totally new room. There's not shit right there. For the next like two weeks, I'm very, very excited. It's just, you know, it's awesome to have my brother and a really, really good friend living here with me. Let's hop into the video. I bring you wide receiver primetime, Deion Sanders. You might be asking yourself, Pop Mage, you just won the Super Bowl. What the what the dick and balls are you doing with the Deion Sanders here? Well, let me dick and balls tell you. I tweeted out, guys, what should I do here? Because I prestiged primetime. Usually I wouldn't prestige a legend player this early, but I did. You know, I, I just said I needed some secondary players. He played so well and I did it. Well, out of position comes out and they drop a 95 overall wide receiver Deion Sanders. I asked you guys, I said, is it okay if I get this Deion Sanders? I don't know if this is allowed. You guys are like, hey, do it. Papa Meeks, we love you, um, which was surprising. Hey, love you boys, appreciate you. So, that's what we're doing here. We have 95 overall wide receiver, Deion Sanders. That brings me to my next point, which is I did prestige Dalvin Cook. I'm very proud of this prestige. I, I staved off the backfield for so long. I did not upgrade my backfield for so long because I wanted to make sure I was trying out different halfbacks, different quarterbacks. Now, I still use two halfbacks very frequently. As we know, Frank Gore got like two touchdowns in a game last season. So doing Dalvin Cook here means I'll always have a really good halfback one option, but I also am going to need to get other halfbacks because when DJ Dallas comes in, I am very much in trouble of fumbling the ball. As for the rest of my team, we're so fucked. Isaiah Hodgins did have a touchdown in like season one. Jake Fromm is so cheeks. Chandler Cox has gotten a lot of carries actually. Love I love handing, I love balls and Cox. What did I try to do? What joke did I try to do, Matt? That wasn't even funny at all. Colby Parkinson, very, very demonetizable jokes that I can make here. So we'll see how that goes. And then defense, uh, as you guys know, we still got primetime Aaron Donald, Jamal Adams. Let's give him some abilities to look at the stats. Now, one thing I do want to make a point of, I may not necessarily keep this into next season. That's the thing I was talking about because am I really going to keep Deion Sanders wide receiver and corner forever, like prestige forever? I definitely want him for this season because I think it's worthy of it. But I think I need to complete another challenge before 
far I can actually keep him. Now he is a route runner wide receiver, which is awesome because he gets route technician for only two AP, which I personally think is one of the best abilities in this game. There's also new challenges on the challenge wheel where I got to get a touchdown with both Deons, which would be really cool. So now, as you know, zero chill is out too. I have a fully updated wheel for you as I always do. It's the Merry Krimmy wheel. It's not fully Christmas out, but there's a lot of fun Christmas stuff on there. As you can see, I made the wheel all red for Christmas. I thought that'd be really fun. And we got our Christmas blanket on the chair. I'm gonna have a good time, baby. I'm gonna have a really good time. I just put this. Dude, this wheel is so stacked with stuff. I just put this on the wheel and we got it. That's a Merry Christmas wheel right there, baby. I get two Zero Chill Fantasy Packs. There's not the craziest stuff in store right now as I'm recording this. Hopefully this weekend we get some crazier stuff. I just realized my team is fully reset. All of this is amazing and I got a zero chill player. James, why is he, where is he? What's the joke here? Why is James Bradbury just a giant icicle? Yo, so Chris Cooley, new tight end. We got a new right end. All of this is so helpful. Um, I'm actually gonna go Von Bell and then James Bradbury. I don't know, why is he a giant icicle? Oh, it opened my pack! Stop doing that shit! I wanna open my own pack and I got George fucking Kittle! Okay, so I think Xavier Rhodes, George Kittle. I have awesome tight ends already. Okay, let me, God damn it! Let me open my own pack! Also, 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 brand new microphone setup, like all this, so if my audio or anything is really shitty, please let me know and I'll try and fix it. We do get an 89 overall Josh Allen. All right, so our first zero chill fantasy pack makes our team significantly better as we knew it would. What would be awesome though is a quarterback because I cannot go this whole episode with Jake Fromm. Ogan Joby. I'll take Ogan Joby. Marlon Mack will be my backup. LJ Fort is my middle linebacker. And um, I'll actually take AJ Green's power up in case I get like a pack a bunch or something. I don't know. Christian Kirksey, we got a middle line. Dude, I need a QB. QB, please be a QB. Why am I getting so many middle linebackers? Oh my God. Deion John's actually an awesome middle linebacker to get. And I get another D tackle in Linval Joseph. I get Tyler Lockett every fucking season. Tyler Lockett, give me a QB. I don't even have him. And our zero chill player is, oh my God. My wide receivers are so good and I don't have a quarterback. I'm excited to throw all that in. I'm not gonna throw it all in yet. I'm gonna do my second wheel spin right now. So I don't care how, oh dude, there's a 93 Ladanian Thomas and QB. What if I could get that baby? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Team wheel, okay. Whatever team I land on needs to have a 90 to 91 overall QB. The team wheel, we get a 90 to 91 team wheel player. And it's gonna come from the Saints. No, not the, no, not the Redskins. That's not even a team. It's not even a team anymore! I should, you should say the football team on there. A 90 to 91 Washington football team player. There's no way there's a QB in here. Their QBs are fucking dog doo-doo, bro. They're so bad. So Chris Cooley, Kendall Fuller. Wait, that's actually super dope. He only has 66 hit power. That's kind of depressing, but I do not have a free safety right now. My, literally my only options are Chris Cooley and Kendall Fuller. Ugh. That's such a bummer. You're gonna love this, Zane, aren't ya? You know what? I am happy though. Kendall Fuller is really good. But just to put this in perspective, let me show you all the 90-91 QBs in the game. Cause there's some very good quarterbacks like this. Fitzmagic, Dan Marino, Joe Montana, Tom Brady, L. Mike Vick, Aaron Rodgers, Steve McNair, Randall Cunningham. Also, I have made the executive decision. I am staying on old gen. I am not going to next gen for this season of Willamont. It's so dog shit. I'm sorry, but it's so dog shit. It is so unplayable and laggy and slow and choppy that I have no fun. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Regardless, I'm still gonna drop the goddamn best bad content on the globe. Like no one's even in my ballpark. Can someone explain this to me? Wait, what the fuck? What is that? What, are, what am I looking at? Wait, he's frozen. Oh, it's a frozen player. Holy shit. So Bradbury is frozen. If I get him, if I get him the hot cocoa collectible, he turns into a 92 overall. Wait, he's a freak. I don't know how in Wheel of Mutt I can get that hot cocoa collectible. I think I'll add it to like the Rage Cool Wheel or something. So for now, he's a 75. All right, boys, we're a 78 overall in the first episode. Thank God we got packs. Packs help out so much at the start. Got a ton of new players. To work with Kendall Fuller, Xavier Rhodes, Josh Allen, defensive, Josh Allen. And then we got T.Y. Hilton, primetime, George Kittle, Dalvin Cook Julio. So Jake Fromm, this is our this is our liability. Our liability is Jake Fromm right now. All right, so last up is the challenge. If we complete this, we get an additional pack to work with. Um, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this first. So score blind. So I had to like completely shut my eyes and run a play. And if I can score like that, I complete the challenge. Wait a second. Did I complete my challenge in the Super Bowl? Because if I completed my challenge in the Super Bowl, I get a pack here. We're just gonna hop into this one. First game of the new season. If I did complete that challenge in the Super Bowl, um, I'll open the pack after. 
Look at that top three, baby! We got that new Dion. Josh Allen, I miss you. Ah, Bill's theme team. You can't tell me it's not a theme team. He's in the Bill's stadium. He's got Bill's unis on. It, it's a Bill's theme team. Okay, I like what we got here. Jamal Adams is up high. Kendall Fuller. Wait, there's two Fullers on the field? How are there two Fullers on the field? It said Fuller twice. Who am I on? Bop! Oh, Jamal. So this should be play action. Oh, the corner route. Oh, okay, okay, I'm fine with that. Damn! I'm getting shelled. I'm getting completely shelled right now. That's a run. It's not a run. Oh my god, you clown! Dude, Chase Claypool made that dude his bitch. And he shanked the kick. Well, six to zero. I like that a lot. I'm thinking Cooley's gonna be open here. Come on, baby. Cooley? Cooley? He's kind of there. It's a bad nope. ball. Jake Fromm, damn it! He's a D-line user. I can win this game. All right. Cooley, in the middle, Jake Fromm! Dot, he throws a dot on fourth and a lot. A dot on fourth and a lot. Yeah. I'm white, I know. I'm gonna send Dalvin underneath. What if Jake Fromm just rolls out like a stud? Yup. Okay, Jake Fromm! Ah! Well, I got it off. I think this guy sucks, and I think he can't guard five wide because he's a D-line user. He can't. He can't guard that. All right, I'm actually gonna bring Dalvin to the short side, to the weak side here. Yup, he completely bit. We got a joke. Oh, I had a shot there. Oh, Kittle and Cooley are throwing blocks here. I think this has got a shot. This could be it, baby. This could be it. No. Why aren't you blocking him? Like, who are you blocking there? If you're not blocking him, then who are you blocking? I do not know what this coverage is. Oh, I'm not confident enough. I'm not confident enough with Jake Brown to throw that. I'm sorry. It's Madden, baby. I'm running the fake. Come on. Yes. It's so open. Yes. Let's go. George Kittle. Let's go. From the 11. Oh, I need to get a blind touchdown too. Yeah, that wasn't really the position for it. I still got to win the game. I think next time I'm in, I'm in touchdown range, I'm just going to put Dalvin on halfback dive, shut my eyes and run forward. I'm setting a two-man blitz out the left side. Oh, a zig route. Oh, I saw it too. I just can't get to that fast enough. Damn. Nice work. All right, I'm on prime time here. I'm looking to cover everything. Yup. Oh my goodness. This Claypool's a beast. You know what he's going to do? He's going to do a zig route again. Oh, he runs the ball. I had a chance to make that play with Jamal Adams and I didn't. Okay. Okay. I don't know what he's oh i'm on the wrong dude i'm on somebody cornell ah oh he's busting my fucking ankles chill out out of out of everything he's really just hurting my ego it's like dusting me oh he's just gonna throw underneath prime time that's why right there baby that's why you prestige prime time oh my god the computer prime time just did that shit i think this is gonna be really open yeah, look at this. Prime time's got it. <gasps> Murdered his ankles. Jake from State Farm, not having a bad game. 22 seconds on the clock. I did not consider how much time is on the clock here. What if I just send Dion deep? I'm sending prime time over the top and I'm gonna block George Kittle. Come on, prime time. Come on, prime time. Come on, Jake from. <laughs> oh my God, he, <laughs> he dusted him. Dude, he's so bad at throwing the ball that he just fumbled the bag. Okay, there's a safety floating this time. We throw another horrible ball because Jake Fromm is an embarrassment to this team. I got Hilton as my safety route. I'm looking for prime time. Yes, yes, no, damn it, Jake Fromm, you're an embarrassment to this team. He's so open. He's literally wide the fuck open. This is so silly. I don't know what he's gonna go with here. Oh, I'm on the one. Are you serious? I'm on the one. Jake Frum, please, please, bro. Please make one pass because we are touchdown central. You got this. I'm serious. You got this. Oh my God. Jake Frum almost just stepped out, but he finally fucking delivers. He finally delivers. With oh my God. I can't, I can't play. Didn't Jake Fromm play at U of M? That explains all of this. All right, first and 10. I think he's going to use her prime time. Oh my god, you're a clown. There's no way you can catch that. Wait. Prime time! Let's go! Jake Fromm Redemption. Hey, Jake Fromm. I'm proud of you, man. Okay, I'm actually gonna be smart here. 
Obviously, I didn't score on a blind play right there, though. What I should have done is gone out at the one and then ran my blind play. All right, we're going with the blitz. Jamal Adams. I'm blitzing everybody. Oh, not the time to blitz everybody, huh? I knew he was going to go there. I just, I couldn't, I was using the wrong dude. Second and 10. He wants this. Oh, no. Dude, he's like, I don't get why he's struggling so bad. He's so good at making decisions. He's 19 for 23. I don't think I ever throw that one. What is this? I'm gonna blitz Jamal Adams and Fuller. Ooh, wow. What a backfield, what a play call. He's gotta go for two. Huge stop here if we can get it. Two point conversion. It's a play action. He rifles out of bounds. Let's go, he stepped out. Did I just now notice that there's no kickoff? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Did I just now notice that? Has it been like that this whole game? There's no kickoff. Am I stupid? Jake Fromm is playing good football. Also, I'm so fucking confused. I'm so confused. I saw an update on Twitter about how they were taking kickoffs out, but I thought that was for like competitive play. This is just head to head seasons. Dion almost has double me activated. Okay, what's the point guys? What's the point of a screen play if you're not gonna block? All right, prime time's gonna come underneath here. Should be very open. Yes, sir. Make a... Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm, ladies and gentlemen. Nah. I think Cooley over the middle is the money route here. Cooley. Oh, no, he's not open at all. No, this could be bad. This could be so bad, dude. I have to turn him over. We're not gonna turn him over like that. And I think he can just continue to chew this clock. So he can chew the clock and kick a field goal to win this game. Cause Jake Fromm can't throw the goddamn ball. Oh, let him score. Let him score. He knows, he knows, good play. Okay, so I have 18 seconds left to get in field goal range. It's not super realistic. I think if Julio can get across this field and get out of bounds, We'd have to make pretty a pretty crazy Jake from pass though. Wait, can we spike? Not enough time on the clock. Damn, Jake from sold, bro. We really had such a good shot to win the game, but Jake from missed an unbelievable amount of passes, which is to be expected. I usually do not go into games without a quarterback, so but he didn't even play bad. I actually had a better passer rating than this guy. Oh, he played at Georgia. Never mind. He had a better passer rating than Josh Allen. Dion, six for 140, bro. Ah! Based my awesome editor from Will of Mutt just texted me. He said my challenge in the Super Bowl was to score with two bench players, and I do remember completing that. I did complete it. So we're gonna lose right now. We lose T.Y. Hilton, George Kittle, Chris Cooley, uh, and then literally everyone on defense, Kendall Fuller. That's the big one we lose. Kendall Fuller was a really nice pickup, but the silver lining is that whatever I pull in this pack here stays on the team no matter what. Because this is from the challenge we completed in the Super Bowl. Technically, I should have opened this before that game, and had I gotten a quarterback, you know what? I probably would have won. So that's my fault for not figuring that out sooner. But I'll take what we get anyway. Get a Miles 82 Miles Sanders. Leonard Fournette and Tredavious. Damn. Quarterback. Please. It would be so cool. I'm I'm happy for really anything because my team is dude. How many hatbacks am I gonna get? Yes! Oh my god, I'm gonna use an 85 Michael Vick. That's tough. I really want that Xavier Woods. I'm gonna do something really stupid. I'm taking the Xavier Woods. I'm doing something really stupid because, listen, hear me out, just hear me out, just hear me out. I know, I know it's stupid, just hear me out. I have a whole nother episode. I get two wheel spins in the next episode to potentially get a quarterback. And then I don't have to waste a pick on an 85 Vic that I'm gonna get rid of anyway. Could be Galaxy Brain. So we're at 74 overall before we go into next episode. But dude, imagine we had a, a good quarterback there. The amount of touchdowns that were just Deion Sanders straight up touchdown was, it was so silly. I will see you boys in the next episode. Thanks for watching as always. I'll try and get you dubbed then. Peace out.